In this video I'm going to uh, show how to shorten the list of radios when you pull this connect set down to connect to a radio. There's an awful lot of options that you have in this list and you're probably not going to use all of them. Uh, you might use a couple of them but you're certainly not going to use all of them. I have access to a 7300 and a 7610 so let me show you how you can handle uh, limiting this list only to the radios you have. Otherwise you've got to go through, for example, I have a 7300 that I'm connected to now. It happens to be a radio on uh, 80 meters. It's connected by the USB port. Sure enough, you know, you connect to it and uh, it uh, works just fine. So the next step is let's eliminate some of those radios that were so you can see where this is 80 meters it's active okay so I'm going to disconnect uh, right now from RSP RSPA1 and I'm going to bring up a way to eliminate some of those radios that you see so we're going to go over here to uh, my computer and I'm going to go here to this disk drive I'm actually running this in uh, VMware so uh, that's why I have such limited disk space. We come down here to this uh, program files x86 since ICOM Remote is a 32-bit program. We run this. We come over here to ICOM. You can uh, do this on your own system. We go here to RSBA1. We go to Remote Controller. and We go into Models. And there are all of your models in this Models directory. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a new subfolder right here and we're going to uh, put the models in there. I gotta hit the F5 key in order to make sure that the directory is updated and I'm going to put in here uh, original model list. Okay, hitting the F5 key again to make that work. So now I come over here and I grab all of these radios. There's the entire list and I'm going to drag them into that subdirectory and this subdirectory is now empty if I were to go into RSPA1 now and try to find a radio there's nothing there there's no models at all so we want to put these models that we want back in the original directory so let's go here and let's say we want the 7300 which is here Let's see what the difference is here. This is a uh, version 1.4. This one's version 1 1.2. Okay, let me use this one here. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to grab it. And then I'm going to come down here and get my 7610. Uh, what's the difference between 1 and 2? Let's see here. Uh, 1 is uh, set up for dual. And what's this original one here? type 1 dual. Uh, don't really know. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to grab one or the other. So I take this and I push down the control key and then I grab my 7300. I right click and I copy those. And then I back up one level and I paste right here. Now I've limited the list to just these two radios. And now let's see what happens when I go ahead and go to the connect set. Sure enough, there are my two radios. So if you want to uh, shorten up your radio list, that's all you really need to do. And uh, hopefully that'll help. I've done this on my other client machines and it does work very well. And uh, once you've selected a radio and picked that you want to be a USB radio, it'll come back that way every time you connect to it and that's it W6FCC that's how you can shorten your radio list uh, have a good uh, holiday season it's now November 25th 2019 have fun